guys, welcome back to Barbie's Awesome World. So for today's video, I decided to do a little craft. So as you can tell by the title, today I will be crafting a DIY Barbie doll pool table. So I have one at home and it's super fun to play. So I would wanna make one for my dolls as well. This is gonna be a super easy craft because I was at the dollar store actually and look what I found. I found a pool table game. I've actually bought this a long time ago and I was kind of just laying this video back. I like kept forgetting to do this the packaging is kind of like done it's gonna be a lot easier because i already have like the main part of the pool table ready but i still want to add some things to it so let me just take you out of the packaging and see what it looks like okay so here's what it looks like so it has the cues i think that's what they're called they almost look like candy. They feel so nice. They're like so slippery. So here's the triangle. And then apparently these are the little table legs. There's four of them. And then these are two of the sticks. I wanna see if the little legs stand. All together there are 16 balls. And it stands like that. But as you can see, it's super short and I don't want it to be short and like on the ground. So here is where the DIY part comes in. I'm going to take these wooden dowels. It's like a thicker kind, so it's stronger. And I'm going to like use them as legs instead of those tiny ones because I want it to be doll size height. So I'm using a Ken doll to measure it. So the way I would want the height to be is to the end of where his like hands end. I feel like that's the real height of like a human size pool table as well which is about six inches and I'm just going to cut on this line I'm using a big pair of scissors you also really want to be careful because this way of cutting a wooden dowel is also really dangerous I've pinched myself so much times in the past when I would do this so you want to be really careful so I have it cut out I'm surprised how actually like straight that came out once I got them as even as possible I trimmed them like as evenly as I could I went back and retrimmed them to make them approximately the same size next I'm gonna take Take some black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint each of them black to match the pool table. I'm going to take some Mod Podge as well. I don't have a lot left. And once they've like dried pretty good, so I'm gonna use some Mod Podge to seal them up so the paint will not come off. And now that they have fully dried, the Mod Podge has two. It gives them a nice little shine effect. I'm gonna go ahead and try to glue the four legs on. So I'll be gluing them right here in these areas with some hot glue. So now that the poles have dried, I'm going to flip it over and it stands. And it's the perfect height for a Ken doll, just the height that I wanted it to be. But I'm not done yet. I wanna add a little more to the pool table. I have more wooden dowels, but these ones are thinner than the one that I just painted black. I'm going to cut these wooden dowels. The length that I'm measuring on this side is gonna be about 18 centimeters. On the other side, it's gonna be about 11 centimeters. I glued the little pieces onto the sides. Now for the longer side, I feel like instead of gluing it exactly up here, I should glue it like right here. As you saw, I glued these little ones at about like eight inches, but this longer one, I feel like I should glue at, I don't know, nine or nine and a half. I'll have to see. Now I'm 
Now that I'm looking at it, honestly, I kind of want to paint these black as well, just because of how I have everything planned with the color theme that I'm going for. So I'm going to paint these black as well. So I decided to paint this green part red. I don't really like the way the green looks here and I don't really think it goes to the pool table. Normally pool tables have this in red. So I mixed this bright red and black acrylic paint together and I got this like dark velvet red color and I'm going to carefully paint this green part red. This is the best that I could do for the first coat. And as you can see, I will probably need a couple more coats to cover up the green. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll continue adding more coats until it's fully red. All right, time for coat number two. All right, and I'm gonna let this coat dry as well. So I did like four layers and this is all that I'm gonna do. It's pretty covered. So now I just need this to dry really well. While this is drying, I really want to repaint these sticks as well because with the new color that I have, like black and red, I don't think these go anymore. So I'm going to repaint these bad boys. I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the brown part black. So now that the red has dried on the pool table, I'm going to take the edge of my ruler and as you can see, I accidentally got some of the red paint onto the black part. So I'm going to just go like this because this is the only thing I have that works like that and just gonna take some black paint on a brush and just clean up the edges. And now I'm gonna let everything dry off. I'm going to double coat these because they have dried, but as you can see, there's still some brown, so I'm gonna add another coat. And I also think it'd be nice if I repainted this black as well. Oh my goodness, I'm actually loving this. Now that everything has dried, this is what the final look looks like. I'm honestly really obsessed with the colors. I love how it's black. I really like this thingy. Um, now all that's left is to add the little balls inside. I have to take out the white one and just go like that and put the black in the middle. 
Honestly, when I just began doing this pool table, I did not plan on repainting the whole entire thing. I was just planning on adding legs. Then I decided why not make it be a little more realistic because usually pool tables have like red and some black and like some really like dark colors. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out and it was actually pretty easy. The only thing that took a while was the paint drying. Um, but overall, this was really easy and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I honestly could not find any Barbie pool tables anywhere that I looked in all the stores, online stores. It's actually a really unique thing they don't probably have for Barbies. So I'm really happy that I got the chance to make my own. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY craft with me. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you like the before or the after more. The before wasn't bad either. It was actually pretty cute, but I just wanted to make it more realistic to use in Barbie videos to make it seem like it's an actual like real life pool table. Anyway, before I end off today's video, the shout outs go out to Taurus Baby and Shervona St. Bernard. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but thank you so much for supporting Barbie's Awesome World on YouTube. Remember, if you'd like a chance of receiving a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below hashtag BAW, and you will get a chance of receiving a shout out in my next video. With all this being said, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!